Critics suggest that there isn't enough land in the U.S. to power up the whole country. While it may seem like an impractical question, let's analyze what if it is actually possible to do so while ignoring practical constraints like storage and grid technology. Can solar energy actually power up the entire U.S., whose annual consumption is 4,090 terawatt-hours as per 2017 statistics? According to National Renewable Energy Labs, or NREL, Rooftop solar alone can generate 34% of the U.S. electricity requirement as per the technology which is available. Modern solar panels average 16-17% to 17 efficient, with widely available models easily exceeding 20%. Therefore, we can revise the National Renewable Energy Lab's estimate with higher efficiency panels, and by including rooftop coverage, it can safely be concluded that only 10,000 square miles area is required. Surprisingly, even Elon Musk shared a similar metric during a speech to the National Governors Association. This is what he said. If we wanted to power the entire United States with solar panels, um, it would take um, a, a fairly small corner of Nevada, Texas, Utah, anywhere. Uh, look, you, it's, it, you only need about 100 miles by 100 miles of solar panels to power the entire United States. Um, and then the, the batteries you need to store that energy to make sure you have 24-7 um, uh, power is one mile by one mile. The one, one square mile. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. But the question is, is it possible to get a land area equivalent to 48,400 football fields? Maybe yes or no. Now, let's try to practically analyze if it's actually possible to do so. At present, about 10% of the U.S. is powered by renewable energy sources. To start, we can combine rooftop solar and utility-scale solar plants. Tesla is already ahead in the game and came up with solar tiles which can be used as roof tiles and, at the same time, harness the energy of the sun. The goal is to make, have, have electric, or, you know, solar roofs that look better than a uh, normal roof generate electricity, have, last longer, have better insulation, um, and actually have a cost, an installed cost, that is less than a normal roof plus the cost of electricity. So then, then why would you buy anything else? One interesting thing about solar is that it's not necessary for us to place the solar panels on land to function, but it is possible to place solar arrays on water too. This example is not rolling out in the U.S., but it is to the scale of 150 megawatts in China, which is not a ton, but it's a start. Known as the Three Gorges area, it is now the site of the world's largest floating solar power plant. When completed, the $151 million installation will generate 150 megawatts of electrical power. The project features panels fixed to floats on the surface of a lake that formed after a coal mine collapsed According to the unit, floating solar is getting bigger in China, where ground-mounted projects aren't used to full capacity because of grid congestion. About 5.6% of solar power generation was idled in the first three quarters, according to data from the National Energy Administration. Finally, the U.S. has to build more localized power sources, like the rooftop solar setups. By combining everything together, the U.S. would eliminate about 1,821 million metric tons of carbon dioxide or CO2 emissions generated by the country's current electric power sector, 35% of the overall CO2 energy-related emissions in the U.S. So let's conclude. The notion of trying to run a huge nation on solar is more of a thought experiment than anything else. It's definitely possible, but not logical to do so because it is not required to generate all U.S. electricity this way, because the country also has more than adequate wind power resources, some geothermal, some pumped hydro storage, and so on. Let's take this discussion a step forward. We would like to know your opinion on this. Do you think solar energy is the need of the hour? Or do you have another idea to share with the world? Let us know what you think in the comments below.